Well, here she is, everybody. Back home on the trailer. So we're just gonna go ahead and uh, scoop her up with the forklift and uh, take her into the shop and uh, get tearing down and find the problem with this thing. Not good, looks like uh salt water.
All right, everybody, here's a little update. Got the heat exchanger, exhaust manifold off, timing cover, all the timing gears. And so far, the problem that I found, here's our uh, all of our exhaust outlets. So this one's good, you see it's all dry. Good, wet. So we got water in that cylinder. That one's dry. And also, when I was putting the engine into the top dead center, the water squirted out of the injector hole. And uh, so that means we got water in the number two cylinder. So, probably blown head gasket. Also, I noticed when I went to drain the coolant, seawater came out. So we got a bad heat exchanger tube stack. So we're already in a couple of grand, unfortunately. So see what we can do. What the fuck? <laughs> Went right in my mouth. Look <laughs> <laughs> at this shit, man. Was it new head gasket? It was. Look at that. That's. The hell is that shit? Hey, Joey. How was that in there? Oh, that must have fell off. Yeah, yeah. I was After removing the head, it was very evident that the whole internal cooling system had been full of salt water. The cooling ports between the head and the block were all crystallized with salt water, nasty goo. There was even bits of sealant that had broken off from the cam cover and was lodged in the oil cooling ports. It was a total disaster. The head gasket was just toast. All around here. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah, that aluminum is garbage. So here's the problem, everybody. 
it all starts here in the heat exchanger. Either the tube stack failed and has a hole in it, or one of these end caps let the coolant out and seawater in to the inter internal cooling system. So that means the engine block was full of seawater and I think it had been cooling on seawater for uh, quite a long time. Here is the main failure. So salt water was sitting inside the engine block and ate away the aluminum head. This is the cylinder that had water in it, as you see. Let it right through here into that cylinder. And this cylinder also had water in it. Not as much, but... Um, so yeah, that's pretty unfortunate. Um, new tube stacks cost between $1,100 and $1,600 from parts for engines. That's the only place I can find it for this little sucker. So, it's either button down and rebuild this engine. I have, I have another head for it. But after the head gaskets and all that and the tube stack, I'm gonna be sitting at a couple grand. Um, so I may just consider repowering, going with something else, something smaller that actually fits in the boat properly and burns less fuel. And because this engine just is way oversized, I don't have any room to work on it, um, burn more fuel than I need to, and it's just unnecessary. So that's the options I'm left with. So I have a lot of thinking to do ahead of me. I also want to mention that the inside of the cooling system in the block of the engine is completely trashed due to the salt water being inside of it. Crystallized with salt, rusted, it has big goobers of just crud in there. So that would mean I'd need to completely disassemble the rest of the engine, all the pistons, bearings, crankshaft, everything would need to come out. The whole block would need to be hot tanked to clear that stuff out. It's just not worth it at this point to go forward with this engine, unfortunately. Last thing I'm doing here is getting that corrosive salt water out of the cooling system and then blowing all the water out of the cylinders and then also putting oil on top of them to keep those cylinders from seizing up in the future in case I do want to do something with this engine. But anyhow, that will wrap it up for this video. Thanks for watching. Consider subscribing and liking and I will see you guys next time.